Welcome to the Nerve Surgeon channel on YouTube. Any mixed nerve, such as the tibial nerve, contains a bundle of multiple different fibre types with different dimensions. Large myelinated fibres are for pain and temperature and also for movement and motor control. Smaller fibres, such as C fibres for slow pain, and autonomic fibres, such as the pseudomotor and vasomotor fibres, control sweating and vasoconstriction tone respectively. When a nerve is reconstructed, small fibres being unmyelinated and of smaller dimensions grow extremely rapidly and recovery of small fibre function can be a sign that motor or sensory function will follow. Being unmyelinated, once the nerve has traversed the repair site or the reconstruction site with a graft, it can start to conduct electricity without having to undergo full myelination such as a mature myelinated large axon before conduction can be restored. This patient had a severe crush injury to the posteromedial aspect of his ankle. There was a tibial nerve injury, the main tibial nerve was transected and repaired, the lateral calca the calcaneal branch of the tibial nerve was uh, intact. The area was covered with a skin graft. Unfortunately there was serious pain the patient was unable to move the ankle because of neurostenalgia, which is a tether problem on the nerve, and there was no functional neurological recovery. So the patient underwent excision of the injury site, neurolysis of the calcaneal branch, excision of the neuroma of the tibial nerve and reconstruction with two cables of advanced process nerve allograft, one into the lateral and one into the medial plantar nerve, and the area was resurfaced with this flap which is a contralateral free radial forearm flap, which was used for vessel reconstruction. The rest of the tarsal tunnel into the plantar aspect of the foot was fully decompressed. Here it's possible to see the differential in the forefoot from the hind foot. The forefoot has got normal skin color and it's got normal sweating, but the hind foot remains thickened skin that's dry. And this is because there's been no functional recovery in that calcaneal branch. The video demonstrates that there is no friction compared to the distal part of the foot, which is sweating. So this is the tactile adherence test. So sweating demonstrates wrinkling of the skin there as it's stroked compared to the area of the heel. The patient has full range of motion in the ankle and toes without any nerve pain following this reconstruction. Small fibre re is a sign of recovery within a mixed nerve and can be a sign that the motor and sensory recovery will follow. If you want any more information on nerve injuries and their reconstruction or the use of processed nerve allograft, please check out the Nerve Surgeon website or contact us through the Nerve Clinic. Thanks for listening.